Welcome to my channel. I am Shushmita. In this video, I will discuss about the analysis and design of a transmission tower with StatPro V8i software. Before watching this video, you are requested to subscribe my channel for the updated videos regarding StatPro, AutoCAD, and ETAPS. So let's get started. Click on the logo of the software, select series 4, 5, or 6, any of the software version, and click on the new project. Then tick on space, specify the file name, then click on the unit. Here is a new model space. Now we have to create the structure. First of all, we have to insert any node with the help of geometry method or snap node grid or any other method. Here is a node and then copy this node paste along the x axis with the value 10.97 meter. I have already converted all the dimension as meter these two nodes with the help of red beam cursor then select this beam go to translation and repeat then default step spacing will be 10.97 then click on link steps then click on ok after that add beam to this corner to insert the center point of this beam click over here and click on add beam midpoint then click on ok so here is the center point of this beam with the help of this point we can create the total structure select this node then copy and paste along the height the total height which is 35 meter then click on ok and after that click on add beam cursor and add this beam click here and click over here and after that delete this beam except this node so beam cursor then specify the value of n which is 5 then click on n points then the beam will be divided into 5 nodes so similarly we have to divide this beam after that we have to add these nodes cross diagonally this way select here and here with the help of add beam cursor you can add these nodes so it's done now delete this part click on ok and then click on more after that select this part then go to geometry circular repeat specify the number of steps which is 4 then specify the center node then click on ok so this way you can create the structure of the tower very easily now we have to draw the wings of the tower so copy these two node and paste along the x-axis with the required dimension which is 6.10 meter And add this node with the help of add beam cursor click here and here and after that select this beam with the help of add beam cursor insert the node over here add beam between the midpoint then click here and draw the beam with the help of perpendicular intersection select this node and click over here join these nodes with the help of add beam with the help of add beam cursor so it's almost done we can copy this part with the help of mirror or circular repeat go to front view then select this part after that go to geometry then click on mirror the mirror plane will be yz 
then select the plane position the center node after that generate mode will be copy then click on ok so this way you can copy this part or there is another method select this part then go to geometry on ok so you can create this part with any of this method which will be easier to you and after that we have to insert the support create the support then select this node click on assign to selected node then click on assign after that we have to assign the property so click on section database to assign the steel section click on indian then click on angle so choose this last angle section which is 200 into 200 into 25 after that select the double ASD which is a short leg back to back double angle and the spacing the clear spacing will be 0.01 meter for the extension of the steel structure we have to specify any clear spacing obviously here to assign the section property go to top view then press ctrl select one by one all the angular column then assign to selected beam and assign then go to select by missing attribute then missing property Then assign to selected beam and assign. So here is the 3D rendering view. To assign the load, click on load and definition, then click on load case details, then click on add. Loading type will be dead load, then add the live load, then click on close, then click on load case 1, then click on add, add the self weight. And then click on self weight assign to view then click on yes after that click on load case 2 then add click on the nodal load click on load case 2 then click on add then click on lo nodal load specify the value of fx here i have assumed the value of fx which is 5 kN and the direction is minus so the load will be minus 5 kN and then add the load in the fz specify the value of fx and fz one by one in the negative direction to assign this node to assign this load select this node with the help of node cursor then assign to selected node and assign You can change the scale value of this load. Here is the exit. Then add the nodal load. Fy. Which is minus 5 kN. specify the value of apex which is 5 kN and the value of exit which is also 5 kN and which is positive direction 
then select these two nodes assign to selected node and assign the load will be assigned then select this node then assign to selected node and assign click on undo and delete this load select fy minus 5 kN then select this node assign to selected node and assign similarly we have to assign the load for fx fz and fy direction positive and negative direction select this node press control then select this load assign to selected node and assign so the nodal load has been assigned After that add the wind load then the title for the wind load will be wl plus 1 wl plus 2 or w1 w2 w3 w4 you have to add four title for the wind load for the four direction which is positive x negative x and positive z and negative z direction so there must be four title for the wind load before add the wind load we have to assign the definition we have to add the definition so click on the wind definition then add wind definition we have to specify the intensity intensity versus height with the help of wind table table number 2 specify the intensity 0.59 0.059 for the height 0 then specify the intensity 0. 0.469 for the height 20 meter Or 30 meter and 0.58 for the 40 meter the exposure factor will be 1 then assign to view this exposure factor then select the W1 then click on add node then specify the y range which is uh, the height of the tower which will be above 35 meter then click on add similarly click on w2 then click on wind load now the factor will be minus 1 and the y range will be same which is 40 meter then click on add then Click on W3, then add wind load. A wind work phase will be Z. Then specify the Y range, then click on add. So here is the wind load for the tower. Click on auto load combination in the select the Indian code, then click on general steel or plastic. Deselect all the load, then select only one load from here. After that, go to analysis point. Before analyze the structure, check the missing property of the structure, then click on analyze print. Click on analyze, run analysis. And 
and check the error it shows the zero error then go to post processing then apply ok then check all the values like displacement reaction animation etc check the deflection the tower is stable for the all load cases Here is a summary of the beam end force. Now for design click on design then change the current code which is IS800 and deselect all the parameters. Select only this parameter yield strength of the steel. Then click on define parameter then specify the yield strength of the steel. Then go to command, check code add, member tick off add, select optimized add, tick off add, then close. Click here on the parameter, then assign to view, then assign. Click on assign to view, then press double enter. The parameter will be assigned. After assigning all the parameter, we have to analyze the structure again. Wait for the zero error. It shows 0 error, 9 warning, 0 notes. Click on result. Then click on steel design. Scroll down and you can check. Shows the member is passed. Some member. Although it shows the 0 error, but there must be some warnings. Like some of the member, here it shows failed for the for some members because of the section property after the steel design stat pro referred some section properties if we edit the section property of this member the design will be safe so here check failed member Note down the failed member which is number 98. Then select the member from here. Then go to property. So here is so many section properties referred by the strap proprietary software. So you have to select any of this property to check the design, the section property. Select the member then assign to selected beam and assign after that analyze the structure wait for the zero error then click on result Click on steel design and check the member number 98. So the member 98 is passed now. Okay. So you have to correct or rectify the member with the help of referred section property. Statpro has referred some section properties to rectify the design. So with the help of this section property we can we can check any member so this way you can analyze and design of a tower if you like this video then subscribe my channel
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो